Hey folks, Daily Lance Blog for the 14th of December, 2020. And what's today, Case? The big reveal. The big reveal. So I've been going on and on, uh, according to Casey. Oh, yeah, it's getting really boring. You should uh, tell us what you're talking about. It better be worth it. Um, I've been uh, every day using a different language to essentially say the thing. If you don't speak fill in the blank language like German, then you can't understand what I'm saying. And I said that in Spanish and Italian and a whole bunch of other ones, including Swahili, which I've gone on to learn and I now speak fluent Swahili. Just test me on it. But my point is that if you don't speak a language and someone speaks it to you, you can't understand. And I want to apply that to mental health. And I think this is one of the most important lessons that you can learn if you have battled mental health, but more importantly, even if you have not, but you care about someone. When they talk to you, they are speaking in a language that you think you can understand. You think you understand when they say, oh, you know, I'm suffering from depression. But if you have not gone through it, then you have not learned the language. The only way that you can learn the language, and that is to experience it. So when someone says these words, you know, I, I don't want to go out. I don't want to do anything. I have no energy for anything because no matter what I do, I can't feel good. No matter what happens, I can't feel happy. And no matter what you may do for me, I can't experience joy. Now, you may think, as someone who's not been through depression, that you understand that. But the key to becoming a better caregiver is understanding that you don't understand. That even though you think that you've been through it, you think in your life experiences you have battled back from a position of depression where you went, hey, I didn't feel good, but you know, I didn't have to go to the doctor. I didn't have to you know, be declared sick or depressed. I just went on and fought. Listen to what I'm saying. If you have not been through depression, then you cannot understand the language of depression. And when someone says to you, I cannot experience joy, you will not be able to understand that. It's simple as that. You think you can. At a certain point in your brain, at a certain layer, of course you can. You can understand. Okay, well, Michael says he today can experience joy. I understand that whatever happens, you will not really feel it. But that's not the same as understanding the feeling. And by acknowledging that, you give yourself and the person you care about a much better chance of having the kind of relationship that you want to have, whatever that relationship is, and you have a much better chance of offering real, honest help. You say the words, I cannot understand. I thought I could, but I couldn't. Signalweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Why are we here, Case? haven't experienced it right they can't understand and you're here to help you said it perfectly nice really? job case because i tuned out for the middle half of that yeah you know what so did i i was uh you know i i, I recorded it in advance <laughs>